Okay, so today we have another review. This is a beer from Orcane Ale Works. So they're in Largo, Florida. Uh, they are sort of one of the more hype breweries in Florida at the moment. Actually, one of the, uh, the viewers reached out and sent an email. Uh, said like, you know, really enjoys their stuff. So um, yeah, thought I'd review some. Actually was able to find it fresh. So that's pretty cool that they're, you know, sending some cans out there. Again, shout out to GB's Bottle Shop. Uh, for having that stuff. And so this is Out of Space, triple dry hopped New England uh, double IPA, 8%. Um, kind of fun label on that. It has a little bit of like, kind of like reflection and stuff going on. So yeah, I have had their Desert Eagle before at a um, bottle share. I think it's their like pastry stout. That stuff was pretty bomb. So let's see how Florida's doing at Hazy. It's always fun to see, you know, I mean, obviously work for one of the better ones in the area, but um, how New England IPA is doing in, in Florida. So uh, this is a very pale beer, yeah. It's uh, almost straw-like. It has like this, it's, appearance-wise, it probably has a good amount of oat or uh, un, um, uh, oats and or a malted wheat in there. Like maybe malted wheat, but anyway, very pale, kind of like, kind of like a straw-like color. Um, first initial sniff, I got like, like grapes, like sort of like a grape drink, like purple. I was getting purple. So then again, purple could be, um, again, it's so, it's so crazy, but like Mitch Higgins, Massachusetts, and talks about it. When you think about apple flavors, it's, it's very important to think uh, not only um, specifically about the notes of flavors that you're thinking, like like specific fruit and specific ways to describe it, like double, adju uh, double adjective plus noun kind of uh, descriptor, sort of like ripe mango versus just like, um, this smells like citrus, right? Or, or delve into citrus versus like, you know, what kind of orange is it? What kind of, you know, is it pulverized oranges? Is it orange peel? Is it, um, you know, is it navel orange? You know, stuff like that, but but also in that range, you can sort of think purple. <laughs> the more, more I get a little light, a light little sniff on it, I get like nerds. So yeah, some some of these hops, you know, express purple, which could be um, grapes, and then you think like red, and red could be uh, anywhere from like strawberry, cranberry, uh, raspberries, and then you think orange. Is it you know orange is a different color than yellow, right? Yellow, I think more like lighter kind of citrus color, uh, flavors versus like orange, I think a little bit more towards like um, peaches, apricots, and, and mangoes, and then pineapple maybe in that range, right? Like yeah, so that's the thing with colors when you so smell beers. Little trick. I get a little bit of orange and yellow. So I get like some, <laughs> that thing's pretty hard to scrape, escape though. It's like, it's, 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 it's not even like wine grapes. It's like eating grapes and nerds. Some light citrus peel in there as well. Oh, that's funny. Huh. So this sort of persists on the palate too, which is funny. And that, I suspect that's mosaic. That's so weird. Maybe it's where my palate is, but there's just this really strange kind of like candied grape. That's where it could also go. So it's not maybe only, um, sorry, uh, not only also, um, not only a mosaic, but it possibly could be Nelson. Nelson has this like gooseberry white grape thing. It's very, um, it's got this like, gasoline -y kind of thing a little bit driving in there i suspect there's southern hemisphere hops possibly in here then again like you know i've been wrong on that so um i have to look it up but uh it seems like there's like maybe galaxy nelson in there and or mosaic but yeah it's got this like light kind of like um like grape juice kind of thing to it a little bit wine uh, wine quality a little bit like gasoline -y. i think some people call it caddy with uh, nelson cement you have sulfur uh, compounds like uh, what 3MHA and 4MMP that are these like really intense thiols that are for a lot of these like qualities we want in um, hops. It's a nice one. It's a really, you know, I, I, I honestly would have guessed that this was a like wine beer. Those wine beer hybrid, hybrids or beer wine hybrids where there's like not a stupid amount, but maybe like 10 to 25% um, of the uh, fermentables was like grape juice. That would have been my, easily my guess, like a trillion dozen. That's crazy, but it's really nice, uh, easy drinkable. Um, the malt bill I also suspect is um, heavily oated. Uh, there's just that like lack of like like malt flavor. There's that like bland, like oat, oat kind of thing. Like if you've ever just eaten plain oats, it's just like very bland, you know, just um, 
like plain, plain oats, no sugar, nothing, just like plain, even just like grab some oats out of your like um, um, pantry, just like put it in your mouth. It's very like, you know, pale, bland, kind of like doughy, floury, kind of like uncooked uh, grain flavor. Yeah, and it's really, it, it, and now I drink more. I suspect there's melon, uh, um, Galaxy, because it has this like really nice kind of light, kind of like um, honeydew melon uh, kind of flavor to it. So now I'm thinking green. So it's green and purple. So it's still, again, going back to those grapes. Um, yeah, quite nice. It's super drinkable. A um, little bit of fluffiness to it, nice and dry. Uh, no, no, a little bit of like green hop on the back end just to help dry it out, but nothing uh, noticeable, chalky or hot burn qualities. It's really good. Yeah, that's very good. Um, yeah, uh, this from me gets a solid 97. 97, that is out of space, triple dry hop, New England double IPA. Absolutely fantastic. My first New England IPA from uh, Arcane Ale Works, and they're just crushing it. Yeah. I guess when things, um, you know, chill out and have more time to travel, like that seems like a place to check out. Arcane, absolutely killer. Uh, if you guys haven't heard them, check them out. Cheers. Later.